Have it with somebody with a degree. What a degree? What yeah. you got a degree in? I have Christian education. Christian education. Yeah. Who taught us Christianity? Mm. Break it up! No, I'm asking. Who taught us Christianity? The same people that. The same people that. What? That taught you what you. No, sir. Not at all. Say it again. Hey, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. He said it. He said it. He said it. Same again? The same people that come. So we got the same people that come that's taught us Christianity, right. brother. You got a degree. This is what I'm telling you. Give me the wisdom of this uh, the first thing this one. No, I'm listening to you. I'm telling him to get a scripture. I'm telling him to get a scripture while you talk. Some real trouble. I'm gonna hate to see it, but I'm just telling you. Watch this. Well, uh, foolishness. Uh, uh, this foolishness again. First Corinthians one and verse. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Mark my words. See y'all out here keeping the commandments, right? Out here striving to keep the commandments, right? So, let me ask you a question right quick. Um, the so-called Jewish people, so-called Jewish people, do they wear fringes the way the Israelites do? No. Okay. So, if they don't wear fringes the way the Israelites do, should we be wearing the fringes like they do? They don't even have fringe. Sometimes they have uh, tassels, right? You understand that? You you got that scripture where it's about the fringes and then around the four corners. That's not 15 verse 38. Right. We just read that. That's a that's a that's a knowledgeable little brother right there. Even I, older people don't even know what you just said, bro. Right. That's right. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Read that first. And 22 and 12. Okay. What's up, bro? Listen to this right quick, man. Numbers 15, 38. Read this. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. In the borders of their garments. Okay. So that means around the whole entire border. There should be fringes. There should be fringes. Okay. So I see a difference in it because maybe you've heard this scripture. Deuteronomy 22, verse 20. Read. Deuteronomy 22 verse 12. Thou shalt make thee fringes upon the four quarters of thy vesture. Four quarters of thy vesture. So what would you say that that means, the four quarters? Just in four specific areas? Like you say that, around your... Around the whole thing? Okay, so in, in, in that case, how many how many uh, quarters make a dollar? Four. So that four makes one whole. You understand that? So if we are to wear around the whole four quarters, if you cut this in half, this will be a quadrant, this will be a quadrant, that will be a quadrant, and that will be a quadrant. Right. So we are to wear fringes all around our shirts and garments. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all making a striving to wear those and everything, but if someone was to see that, that follow that fake Jewish religion, they'll think of you guys as doing that and following them, and not according to the scriptures. Because your little, your little son just said, they don't even wear fringes. That goes into what they wear goes into tassels. You understand know what I'm saying? Okay. So now, what what are we out here doing? We're teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. So I'm gonna let the soldier right here come up, okay, and speak. Uh, Zerishadai. Get Joash. Joash. Come hold post for Jacob. All right. Hey, sister, mama, right here. Can I ask you a question? Does God love everybody? Yeah. Is God good all the time and all the time God is good? Yes. Can you do all things through Christ that strengthens me? Yes, 
So, if God, the Bible said, if you're not supposed to wear pants, and you're supposed to put on a dress, what you going to do? <laughs> if the Bible say, if, the, if you can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, right? All things. Okay. Can I read the scripture to you uh, before you go? Uh, Troop you can't, come out and y'all run in. I see for Christian go. turn I've got to go. Track star, he gunned in. Hey, God wrote that Bible. Oh, right, 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 you understand right. that? Hey, Read. Do the run me. Chapter 22, okay. verse 5. Right, no the right. woman shall not wear that which pertaineth right. unto a man. Hey, the Bible should not, it, it pertains to the Israelites. God says our women are not supposed to be wearing pants, they're supposed to be wearing dresses. Give me the Exodus, let's go ahead and cut that whole doctrine. Read that, let's cut it up, read. Exodus chapter 31 verse 18. Uh -huh. And he gave unto Moses. Uh, who? Unto Moses. God gave unto Moses, read. When he had made an end of co communing with him. Communing with the Most High, read. Uh -huh. Upon Mount Sinai. <laughs> read. With the Most High. Moses with the Most High, read. Two tables of testimony. Read. Tables of stone. Read. Written with the finger of God. Read with what? The finger of God. Read with what? Uh -oh, the finger right. of God. Read with what? The finger of God. God gave us this Bible, and God gave the uh, spirit to the prophets to write the scriptures. Right. Right. Psalm chapter 68, verse 11. Bring it up. Psalm 68, verse 11. Let's go ahead and smash that whole doctrine. Smash that whole doctrine. Talking about God didn't write the Bible. Well, well who sent Christ? What was Christ teaching? The Bible. That's right. What was Moses prophesying about? Jesus Christ. So if the person that sent Jesus Christ didn't speak the Bible, how in the world did God not send him? I don't understand that. God sent his son about something that he gave to him to speak to his people. Dude. Go back to what you had before. I need you to just keep holding it. Exodus 34, 31. Right there. Now go back to Psalm 16 and 11. Hold that. Read. Psalms 68 verse 11. The Lord gave the word. What did the Bible just say? The Lord gave the word. What did the Bible just say? The Lord gave the word. No, no, no. God didn't write this Bible. God didn't write this Bible. Read. The Lord gave the word. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. So great was the company of those that published it. The Bible is speaking for itself. It don't matter what man say. It don't matter what anything say. Read the scripture again. Read. The Lord gave the word. No, a man gave the word. The Lord gave the word. A man gave the word. The Lord gave the word. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. Let's go back to Exodus. Let's go back to Exodus. Let's see if God wrote the Bible. Bring it out. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question right quick. Hey, hey, bro, bro, let me ask you one question. Who was Moses speaking to on the mount? That ain't the question. <laughs> we got to get the context, brother. So read to me. Bet, bet, read. Wrote Exodus. Chapter 31, verse 18. Here we go. And he gave unto Moses. Watch the bombs drop. The bombs is about to drop. Read. When he had made an end of communing with him. Moses speaking to the Most High. That's why I asked you that. Read. Upon Mount Sinai. Upon the Mount. Read. Two so, tables of so, testimony. Uh huh. Tables of stone. Written with the finger of God. Written with what? The finger of God. Written with what? The finger of God. You go back to Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. What is this book? Hey, brother, what you say? What do you say? Huh? He said, talk to somebody who got a degree. Oh, bet. Okay. Come talk to me. Come talk to me. Was that the Bible? Huh? Was that? Go to Baruch 4. I'm going to make sure. That, hey, look. Hey, I'm, I'm cool with you, man. I'm, I'm crazy. But, 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 but the stuff hey, that you're doing is. Let me, let me, let me finish. Can I finish? Like, can I finish him? You, can I finish with him right quick? Oh, brother, 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 brother. Let me finish. Bro, hold on a second. Hold the gentleman. Please. Please. God wrote the Bible? Please. Can I finish? Can I please finish? God didn't write down nothing. Go to Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God. This was made to be laws, okay? That's right. You're talking to somebody that can speak Eric. This me a law rock man, Rahim. What?
Bro, what are you talking about, man? I know. I can speak. What, what was that? Hebrew what was that? That's Arabic. I can speak Arabic too, man. So, I can speak. I can so, know the whole Quran. Bro. So what's this? So do you know, follow the Quran? This is not. No, I follow Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ. I, I pass the Mount Zion. You know. Give me First John chapter two verse three. No, but I'm saying, brother, you you. First John two verse three. If you gonna draw people, this is not the wrong way. Okay. You come to my sister restaurant and then talk about all the people that's doing it. That's not right. Hold on, bro. hold on, hold on, that's hold on. Not right. That's, that's Luke fourteen. He said, "Hey, get the highways and hedges." Hold on, watch this. You said this is the wrong way to go out and teach people. I love all my brothers. That's what you say. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what Christ says. I love all my brothers. Bring it up. Luke, chapter 14. Verse 23. Is that in red? Is this in red? It's in red. It's in red. Like Christ said. Hold on. Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. Go out into the highways and hedges, the streets where our people are. That's right. And compel. Them to come in. Oh, you said you're not supposed to do that. Listen, hold on, bro. bro. That's what you just said, right? Not in the fashion of what you're doing. I, I, what, what's that? I mean, is he saying it? You're going to listen to me. I'm, oh, I'm listening. Listen, Go ahead. Listen, listen, listen. The Bible also says that he that win the souls. Oh, he good. He good. He, good. He, said, he that win the souls is why. Uh huh. So listen, brother. This ain't throwing nobody. This making people because I hear it all. Isaiah 58 1. I'm going to the scripture. Listen I'm listening. It, it, Get the scripture. What it, what it does is make people. You talk about a Bible that was written to people over. Seeds. It was not what? written to us. Yeah, but that, that's what the Bible was. You know what you're talking about. The Bible was written to people that were in that country. <laughs> the Bible was written to these people right here, bro. Exactly. Right. That's, that's what I'm trying. Was. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. Isaiah 58 and 1, they're going to do one. Isaiah 58, verse 1. Listen. Cry aloud. Spare not. So the Bible says, cry aloud. He's up there spare not. Right? So we don't spare feelings, right? Read. This. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Which is what we do every day. We come out we, and show my people their transgression. And show my people their transgression. Sin. What is transgression? No, sin. No, that's not. That's not what transgression. Prove what you got. Transgression is a. It's transgression against God's law. That's not. That's not. First John three and four. Bring it out. That's not sin. Bring it out. First John chapter three verse four. Whosoever commit of sin. Whosoever commit sin. Transgresseth. Also the law. Oh, what? what? He said, he for said, sin, for no, sin no, no, no. is the transgression of the law. Yes. Oh! 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 That's the Bible. Wait, wait, that's the Bible. Wait, wait, wait. wait that's the Bible. Wait, wait, wait. All you want to do is call That's the Bible. You jump in one thing to the next. You ask me You told me that God wrote the Bible. What's up, Listen, here's the thing, man. What's up, bro? What they do? You have to be wise, man. These people are not listening. First Corinthians, maybe you start too. No, no. That's what it's called. Hey, I'm listening. I'm telling them you get a scripture one way. No, you don't have a Bible. Get your Bible and prove what you're saying. Prove what you're saying. Prove what you're saying. So I know what it is. What's the heart according to the Bible? Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'm listening to this. I'm listening to this. This is not the right way, bro. What's the heart according to the Bible? Them guys that come over here, they end up getting mad. Y'all end up getting yourself in some trouble with them. What's the heart according to the Bible? Now, you watch what I tell you. You watch what I tell you, bro, because that ain't going to be right. Psalms 34 7. Wait, bro. The move our life. Let's see what you Hey, 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 let me okay. show you something. Let me show if you're right or the Bible right. Watch this. Man, that's not right. What? That's just not right. Hold on, listen. There's a better way to do it. Psalm, chapter 34, listen, listen verse 7. The, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Listen, brother. Oh, man, I'm talking to somebody that's, that's really reason. No, no, no. Y'all just sitting up there no, shouting. You're reading the Bible. You don't have a Bible. That's not right. You don't have a Bible. You're brother, just talking off your feelings. Right, man. You're going off emotions. No, I'm telling you. We're telling you the word. Read it again. You what's right, man. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. So those that keep God's commandments, the angels are kept around them. Read. That's not right. That fear them and deliver them. So the most high got angels around us, brother. We don't fear no man That's at all. You understand that? We come out to teach the word of God. Okay. Right. Okay. Give me, I'm going to show you why. Ezekiel 317. Right. Let's see what the Bible says. Because right? you came over and you said you got your, uh, you said you got your scholarship, right? Yeah. No, you said, I don't have a scholarship. What do you say? What do you say? Somebody with a degree. What a degree? What you got a degree in? I have Christian education. Christian education. Who taught us Christianity? Mm. Bring it up! No, I'm asking. Who told us Christian? The same people that. I mean, the same people that what? That taught you what you No, sir. Not at all. Say it again. Hey, hold on. The same people that come to the church. Hey, hold on. 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 Hold on.
No, I'm listening to you. I'm telling him to get a scripture. I'm telling him to get a scripture while you talk. Some real trouble. And I'm going to hate to see it. And I'm just telling you. Watch this. Well, uh, foolishness. Uh, uh, it's foolishness with him. First Corinthians 1 and verse. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Mark my words. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's a pastor. Hold on, let me see something. I never pray for you. Hey, start at 19. First Corinthians! I want you to listen. You said you got a Christianity degree. I want you to hear this. Listen. First Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 19. So this for anybody who got a Christianity degree. Watch what God says. That's not wisdom. Because he doesn't have no Bible. Watch this. For it is written. I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. The most I said he's going to destroy the wisdom of the wise. The brother think you know better, right? Yeah, okay. And will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. It will bring to nothing the understanding of the proud. Understand, that's you. Read. Where is the wise? Uh huh. Where is the scribe? Read. Where is the disputer uh -huh. of this world? Where is he? We up here teaching the Bible, he came with his own emotion. Right. I asked him to produce his cause with a Bible, he didn't get one. But he said he got a Christianity degree. I got you. Read. Have not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Didn't the Most High make foolish the, the, the doctrine of Christianity? Right. right. The same people that put us in slavery taught us Christianity. Right. That's foolishness for any black, Hispanic, or so-called Native American to follow that nonsense. That's we right. are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. For after that, in the wisdom of uh -huh. God, the world by wisdom knew not God. The world by their Christianity degree knew not God. The brother said transgression of the law is not sin. We go to the Bible, 1 John 3 and 4, and it says exactly that. Transgression of the law is sin. That's what right. read. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching uh -huh. to save them that believe. So for the brother to come up and say, what y'all doing is wrong. It's foolishness. Don't do it. God said that's exactly how you're going to save those that believe. That's right. right. Read, that line. read that scripture one more time. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Uh -huh. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So understand, we're doing exactly what the Most High God wants us to do. Right. So what, what was it, uh, Jacob? That's what I want. First Corinthians two, verse four and five. First Corinthians chapter two, verse four. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. You understand that it's not coming with, hey, brother, you gotta be nice. You gotta be, gotta be in your heart. No, we read, thus saith the Lord. Read right. right. But in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. You see that our faith don't stand in the wisdom and understanding of a man. Right. It comes out of the Bible. That's how we're able to speak boldly to our people. The right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who are the Israelites, right. you need to come back to God. Right. Well, that's why we can come up here and do that. We don't fear no man. We keep the commandments of God. That's Angels right. are kept around us. That's right. Read what you got. But in the power of God. We stand in the power of the Most High God. That's right. Hey, Amos, who was up here teaching? Come back up here. Give me 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it up. 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. What we must understand is the fact that our communities continues to be, find that scripture where Acts, where Paul said he spoke boldly. Our communities continue to get shot down. We stay on drugs. We're in the bottom of society. And no one wants to speak about it until the Israelites come out on the streets and teach God's word. Everybody becomes a Google prophet and a philosopher and a great teacher when the Bible comes out. But can't even decipher the Bible and don't even know who the Bible was written to. Read. First John chapter 2 verse 3. And hereby we do know him. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. So, let's break down that brother's life. He said he had a degree in Christianity. Christianity was taught by your oppressor. Right. Okay? Religion was taught by your oppressor. Right. So, if you have a degree in the religion that was taught by your oppressor, and religion has nothing to do with the Bible, you don't even know God. Okay? Read the scripture again. First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Give me Acts chapter 19, verse 8. 19, verse 8. The Bible says we're supposed to go out here and compel our people to come in. Right. Understand, it was some people that wouldn't listen and Nehemiah got bold with them. Right. And told them to keep the commandments of God. That's right. Understand this, the reason why our people 
don't realize that the way the prophets are teaching or the way the prophets taught back in the day is because they haven't written or read the things that was written a full time. Right. If you read the things that were written a full time, you would know Paul did this. Read. Okay. Acts chapter 19, verse 8. And he went into the synagogue and spake. Start, start up two verses. Verse 7. All the men were about 12. And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly. And what? And spake boldly. No, he spoke soft. Paul spoke soft. What did Paul do? And spake boldly Read. for the space of three months. Uh -huh. Disputing and persuading. Do what? Disputing and persuading. He did what with the word of God? Disputing and persuading. Uh -huh. The things concerning the kingdom of God. Things concerning the kingdom of God. Paul was speaking boldly, dissecting the word of God and persuading, compelling the people to come in. Uh -huh. That's what Paul did. But if you're following Joe Osteen or T.D. Jakes or your Christianity degree, this no, this no, brother, wrong. this is wrong. What the Bible tells you to do is wrong because you learned that in Christianity. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org